This week I've chosen My Name is Michael Sibley by John Bingham as my crime fiction classic. Welcome to Malcolm Noble Talks About Crime Fiction Classics. John Bingham seems rather forgotten these days, which seems unfair because in the 1950s he wrote one of our classic detective novels, My Name is Michael Sibley. Like many detective writers of the time, he had links with the British Secret Service. And in the early 1960s, John Bingham expressed some disillusionment about how the spy story was evolving. That led many of us to dismiss him as old school. Now, with a broader perspective, we can see that even if he was old school, he brought with him some of the fine traditions of the classic English detective story. Michael Sibley is a murder story, not a spy story, that tells how a friend of the victim comes under suspicion because of the facts he doesn't tell and the fibs that he does tell to the police. Bingham had a fine narrative skill. He had a way of capturing a moment in just a few lines, either a moment that we could connect to or a moment that takes the plot forward and is quite revealing. By the end of the first chapter, Bingham who writes in an educated and fluid way, has told us about the background to the murder and much about the characters. We feel we know a lot about Michael Sibley, but we also feel there's a lot we don't know. Bingham cleverly provides a succession of hooks, so that as soon as we feel we know what is going on, he uncovers another layer of the deception. Perhaps Bingham wasn't so much old school after all. All this produces a very good book, but I think it is fair to say that he didn't again reach the level that he did with Michael Sibley. The original Penguin edition seems the right copy to talk about. These green and whites promise us a sound and literate murder story, and that's just what John Bingham has given us. I've no hesitation in recommending to you My Name is Michael Sibley by John Bingham as a crime fiction classic. It really is one of the finest. Thanks for listening to me. Please do leave a comment if you wish and catch me next time for another crime fiction classic. Bye. I'll be adding a few more notes about John Bingham to my crime fiction blog. I hope you'll spare a few seconds to take a look at it.